So we were going to talk about two of John's books, um, Mystic Verses, part one and part two. And I was going to ask John to read one of the verses out of Destined to Joy, Mystic Verses, part one. And then we're going to share a little bit with your audience, John, of... Um, what you've been doing with these beautiful verses. Would you mind reading on page 22, verse five of us? How do I know? I do not know. By faith alone, I look ahead. By faith is higher knowledge spread. Unknowable, with no thing there. Meditation, as it were, disappears. Like deep asleep, but deep awake. Oh, so awake, there's no comparison to keep in relative describable, theological, theologically viable, religious terminology. So, <clears throat> hours pass. Only afterwards I grope for words, but cannot say. But witness how Twice every day in practice, no other interest compares, no other life, love, anything that years' experience can bring and measure up this treasure, unspeakable, to which I give my utter all to live. Is it God's kingdom? Maybe so. Too intimately known <clears throat> to know as one apart from what essentially I am myself. From pre and post existent wordlessness emerges only one first word to melt. In heartfelt prayer, O oh Lord. Thank you, John. So I thought maybe you could um, share with us a little bit about these two beautiful books when they were written and maybe a little insight. Well, <clears throat> Like many poets have found, it's a bit of a mystery. I've had two major periods in my life when, quite unexpectedly, poetry has poured out of me. One was when I was 47 and, and, and was struggling with what I look back on as probably the great love experience, the greatest love experience of my life. And the other was more recently when I was 77, 30 years after that. In between, yes, I wrote the odd verse, but uh, nothing like this major outpouring that, that just happens. And when I was 77, it, it, these poems just poured out of me day after day. It's extraordinary. And... Uh, enough to fill these two little volumes. There's uh, 200 odd poems in, in the two together. Um, most, but not all of them, arose like the one I've just read, read to you, um, on coming out of meditation. Um, they're not composed by me at all. They're just there in the mind that I write them down. 
maybe edit, yes, I edit them a bit afterwards and play around with a few words, maybe. But they just come. Where do they come from? God knows, and I do not. Anyway, um, <clears throat> there's recently we've had a, a, a young lady staying here for, for several weeks. And uh, to our surprise, she had been playing around with these verses and had um, uh, added a, uh, she's a, quite a photographer herself, and had added a very appropriate, meaningful, uh, gentle sort of photograph as a background. And... Uh, Added some appropriate, very soft music to some of them, not all of them, and uh, recorded my voice reading them. In fact, both these uh, books are now uh, recorded in their entirety, all 200 odd verses. But um, she's uh, put about 40 of these into this, I think the technical word is multimedia form. <laughs> which are really, I think, are super, very impressive. And uh, anyway, we hope to be showing those on on the channel. But you also can enjoy them. I hope you'll enjoy them. And uh, we'll see if any more appear. <laughs> um, this seems to be a good good way to start. What's, what next is going to happen? We'll just wait and see. John, I'm just um, looking at the poem that you just read. And I just wanted to ask, you just said the words come to you after meditation. Mm -hmm. So when you write in here, but witness how twice a day, twice every day in practice, mm -hmm. are you referring to your meditation time? Oh, yes, of course. That's practice of meditation. Yes. Yes, it's, it's, uh, you don't practice the words. The words uh, come, well, as I say, I don't know. How they come really, um, but but there's a very there's a you see in in when you've been meditating as long as I have in meditation you're taken uh, way beyond thinking you know you're you're taken right out of this uh, active discursive mind and you can't really say where you are um, <laughs> you could perhaps describe it as I did in that poem but. That when we fall asleep, you don't know where you've been when you fall asleep. But it's there, well, when you meditate, it's very similar. You, as it were, but you don't fall down into a lower state of consciousness, as happens when you're asleep. You fall up into a higher state of consciousness, but similarly beyond thought, you see. And, and in a way, as the dreaming it, it happens in sleep, as you emerge from deep sleep, and come back into the thinking mind. That's apparently when dreams appear. So in meditation, in the opposite direction, coming, as it were, down from above, as you re-enter the mind, then uh, sometimes these things manifest. Um, but I repeat, uh, from where? God only knows. Um, but they, but they must be in some way related to to where you, where one has been in, in practice, because um, they're completely authentic descriptions. I think I, I could never have really written it myself, but somehow there's they're sort of ref, reflections, involuntary reflections on where I've been. Not the entirety of where I've been. I think they're probably just far beyond words and descriptions, but the process of re emerging back into worldly consciousness, from higher consciousness back to more ordinary levels of consciousness. I'm very glad to give these poems some publicity now because you know, very few people actually buy poetry, let alone read it these days. And I would emphasize that even if anybody is going to listen to these verses, these recordings, I've always found it completely impossible when I've heard other people reading their verses, however 
slowly and carefully than read. You know, a poem by its nature is full of meaning. It's not just a, a sort of off the cuff description. It's it's de it's a deeply significant uh, composition, and and so I do recommend anybody that is interested to to uh, to obtain these verses. Um, they are on Kindle. It's always better, of course, to have a copy in your hands that you can actually read. So I hope these these uh, recordings will stimulate enough interest for people to to read them for themselves. I, I there's a there's another woman who visited me some time ago and and she took this, a copy of these poems away and she wrote and told me that, that the very first poem I think in this little book is um she she spent uh, I think uh, two or three weeks just <clears throat> reading it over and over and over again, just the one long poem to, to, to absorb every word, every phrase and sentence and, uh, and and to understand the meaning. I thought that was wonderful. I thought, my God, if everybody read, read, read my books as carefully as that, they, they, they'd receive my whole lifetime, my whole life of experience. But of course, most people don't. They just sort of skim over the page and, and don't get the half of it. Not a tenth of it, not a hundredth of the meaning. <laughs> so, uh, so I guess I encourage any of you that, that uh, wish to come the deeper meaning of these verses to take the time to do so and study the text as well as listening. This is a lot. There's so much conveyed in them. I can hardly exaggerate. Extraordinary sometimes a verse can contain also a lifetime of experience. It's quite magical sometimes. Um, the well chosen words. I don't think it's I don't think it's really within the human capacity. I think that's why these verses that come. The only word you can use is inspiration. They come from spirit, you see. That's why we say they're inspired verses. They, they uh, are rather like the scripture is inspired. You, know, you can read, read the scripture over and over again through your entire life, and every time you get more meaning out of it. So it is with the best of inspired work. John, if um, someone is interested in a hard copy of the yes. books. Go to the website, my dear. Say the www.spiritualunfoldment.co.uk. Go there, and there all the books are described, and you can order there. And they'll be sent to you. Yes, that's the way to do it. Yes, and then this girl that was had to spend two or three weeks reading the first verse, she moved on to the second one, and took it's a bit shorter. She took almost as long reading that. And she, she writes to me, tells me, she's on verse three now, then verse four and five others. I'm thrilled that someone actually cares enough to study them in this way. Very glad for her. I thought maybe as um, final gift from you to all of us, you could read the verse on page 177. <laughs> you found another one. <laughs> I love right. this little book so much. Um, it's verse 78. <laughs> yes. This is extraordinary. Just a few, a few little short words sum up the whole situation. <laughs> yes. This is number 78 in this uh, first mystic verse in part one. Straightforward meditation, transcending complication, sees the simple, saving truth in every situation. Then, Ra also, laid bare, makes clear that works of darkness 
disappear. And glory be in unity of self withdrawal humility, let righteousness in faith outpour and error set the scene no more. There you are, my dears. If only we could live up to it, practice what we preach, eh? Then, but anyway, these words are a good start, aren't they? Set us in the right direction. Good luck to you. I hope you enjoy them. I hope I help. Many people purchase these little books, John. They're such a treasure. Thank you. Yes, I think they are myself, actually. I'm quite pleased with them. <laughs> Thank you, too. Thank you for your attention. God bless you all. It's wonderful to wake up free of personal identity, to be no sort of entity, but universal unity. No time or space to pass, no fears of age or separation, cares about a world which may or may not be, depending how we look and see. For now it's just distraction from this glorious reality, a distant echoing self-piteous cry that tempts, bow down, serve me and die. Much better meditate. Uplift to higher consciousness, this oh-so-all-pervasive bliss, eternal, perfect, now.